this is stage three. So this will be, um, this is Bullwall outside the line revived to Bestwood Dynamo Roads. So, to avoid the fast road, we have to go round. To avoid the world of danger, we have to circle the grasslands. To maintain the safety, keep our sanity, we find the paths away from the hubbub, turmoil, claptrap of daily life. <laughs> so Robert Mellors, a historian writing in the early 1900s about this area, um, said that this was where the ancient court leet of Borwell Manor was held and the court leet made decisions about malefactors, night hawkers, day sleepers, Ooh. eavesdroppers, Ooh. haunters of body houses Ooh. and ne'er-do-wells of the area. Hey, does that include poets? <laughs> and poets. Oh. And wordsmiths. No, you, but you're in there. The, more, well, the, the other one that um, more interesting, if you look over there, the framesmith's arms gives you a clue to the industry, part of industry past, as in framework knitting. Ah, yes, yes, that's the name. So, right, um, this was a hotbed for framework knitting. So, the, the, this corridor from Mansfield through to Leicester was the hotbed for framework knitting, which was cottage industry based mainly or workshop based. And the framesmith was the one that either made or repaired the actual frames, the framework knitting machines. Which, if you go to Runnington, or down there, you'll see a workshop based with them all. But essentially, it was cottage based industry. It started, it was in crisis by the early 19th century. And when, we, when I do my talk to you up at Bestwood, one part of that came out of it was the Luddites, who were essentially framework knitters. When times got tough, the tough got going. So, the framework locally, you'll see the picture on the top there, the pub is locally called, known as the Monkey. So you'll see the monkey on the picture on the top there. So we never call it the Frenchman's, it's also going to the monkey. The, the major Luddite events uh, started about 1811, 1812, and then it kicked in again in 1816. Uh, more so around Loughborough, around there. But certainly um, Arnold was deemed to be the place where it started. But by um, March 1811, there was frames smashed in Sutton and Ashfield, which was, again, a very dense area for framework knitting, Mansfield and Bullwell. November the 4th, 1811, six wide frames were smashed at Bullwell. And then here, November the 10th, 1811, 70 armed men from Arnold and surrounding villages met on Bullwell Forest. Marched to Bullwell, premises of Edward Ollingsworth, he defended his property, and one rioter, John Wesley of Arnold, was shot dead. So that was serious stuff. Yeah, yeah. That was serious stuff. Later, about two months' time, when they, it kicked up again in 1816, uh, they're doing some events down in Loughborough, and there was an attack on Heathcote and Bowden's Mill. One of my ancestors in our family line got caught up in that disturbance. And uh, initially, when, when the incident happened at Loughborough, which was the 29th of June, 1816, they caught James Dowell, the leader, he was initially caught, hung, and then later they caught up with six others who were poaching on Middleton's land. The Middletons were Woolerton, that, that was the name in mobility, in uh, the Willoughbys became the Middletons. Six of those that got caught got hung, on the 17th of April at Leicester Jail for, for Luddism. One of them was John Amos, who was the cousin of my great, great, great granddad. So there's a direct line that follows through for Luddism. So you can see it was serious stuff. Well, framework knitting, there was, um, in 1844, there was a royal commission into the works of it. It, it was uh, basically, it was struggling, but by certainly the end of the century, it still survived. The last framework knitting machine in Selston, where I used to live, was still there in 1930s. Very odd in between, but basically then it all died out completely. And it went to factory, as you got the lace market, factories and factory-based issues and that took over. So, yeah, and it, the, 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 the actual roots of framework knitting, the framework knitting machine, the, the principle of it was invented by a chap called William Lee, who was from 
Galverton. Never made a penny. But if you go in the Galverton Folk Museum, the little, what was open last weekend on the big day art, they've got a little framework knitting machine as that as well. All right. Thank you. Thank you.